I'm literally living the life that I wrote down like two months ago. I realized that I was like, okay, all of that has come true. Like all of it. So it's a very like surreal feeling. It feels like... So in this video, I'm going to do basically um, 21 days. All right, so for the next 21 days, I'm going to be filming the 21 day Law of Attraction Manifestation Challenge. If you're not familiar with the Law of Attraction, Manifestation and all of that good stuff, you would have no idea what this is, but it's just a 21 day challenge where basically you're supposed to be able to manifest anything you want following the different practices over 21 days. This would be a really great video idea to test and see if this works and also document every single day and the different practices you have to do. It would also be really cool for me to watch over and to see if whatever it is I want to manifest actually comes true because that would be pretty awesome. So, oh there's a dog at my door. You spend the first couple days clearing yourself, <laughs> clearing your mind and your space. So I think I'm actually going to take a bit longer on those days just because I want to. Day one says to clear your mind. Just goes into saying, doing deep breathing exercises, meditations, just pretty much letting go of any stresses or any shit. I am probably going to do a meditation, maybe a mind by one. Day two of the Law of Attraction Challenge. This is all about making space in your life. Keep living in working spaces and clear away things that remind you of negative thoughts or tie you too closely to the past. So my desk is an absolute pigsty at the moment. What the fuck is happening here? Um, and the rest of my room is kind of messy as well, but I'm not going to show that because that's just gross. So I guess let's get going. <laughs> Day three, so it's like day five, <laughs> if I'm being very honest. I have spent like the last days just kind of, you know, chilling. Just because I really want this to work and I really just want to make sure that I'm very clear in the mind and my space. Day three is kind of when it all kicks off. So if I'm also being honest again, I'm like kind of scared about this. Not, not scared, but just kind of, I've been putting it off for a bit because it's kind of like getting down to the nitty gritty. Just as explore your goals. So pretty much just work out exactly what it is you want and working out the why. With manifestation and law of attraction is working out why you want it. It's not necessarily working out how it's going to get to you, but why you're going to benefit from it. Why you deserve whatever it is in this world that you want it makes it that much easier for it to come into your life course with like a whole bunch of other stuff being like grateful and oh my god I could talk about this for like ever past <laughs> the scariness and exploring my goal sharing my goal with everyone this is a bit weird I'm still trying to find tune exactly what it is I know what it is in my mind it's just it's very broad so I need to I guess a few key words like getting a whole heap of writing on my page and then I'm going to look back over it and try and fine tune what it is exactly and then go ahead with the why so once I have that figured out I will shut up So another thing I forgot to mention is thinking of your goal, imagine it manifesting in different way until you get a sense. Oh, okay. So I think that means just like feeling it because manifestation is also all about the feeling. It can be like a thing that people struggle with the most and it can be a bit of a challenge. Day you actually need to feel as if you already have it and getting into that mindset can be really hard, especially if it's like a huge thing. Um, and you're just like, what? How do I feel that? So I guess that's kind of what writing down does. I'd like literally encourage people just to write as much as possible and tune everything so that way you can feel it. You get kind of an understanding. And I find myself... Whenever I write stuff, I just understand it way more and like things click in my head, like I think of new things. It's just an easier way to feel it. So I kind of just worked that out just then when I was saying it. You got it wrong. So day four, so tomorrow is when you put the goal into specific words. Just gonna write heaps of stuff and hopefully get some kind of sense of feeling as to what I'm supposed to feel to manifest. Does that make sense? Alright, let's keep going. So it's just kind of in the scenes. I was up. I 
I've been super busy with starting a new job. I have recently had many cool ideas on what I want to create. I was foreshadowing something for such a long time. I've only just realized that it's like been in front of my eyes this whole entire time. It's really exciting seeing what this first stepping stone is going to be. This would make zero sense. I haven't really announced or said what it is that I am working on. It will make sense very soon and I am so bloody excited to see where all this takes me and I am making a video all about this that was pretty much why I wanted to start YouTube was to document the journey and the process of my own journey and process of yeah creating the life that I want to live but I don't want normal I don't like normal and we need to have it at times the job I have now is actually in an office ironically enough it allows me to create the things I want to do just very happy with life at the moment it's um pretty cool feeling <laughs> to be honest a while ago, I started to film a 21 day law of attraction and manifestation challenge, about up to 10 days or so of it, and then I just got lazy. I'm a very lazy person, but I'm a very lazy but productive person. It's a very weird combination, but it works. But I kind of continued to do each day's challenge unintentionally without like sitting down and being like, okay, day 10, day 11. Pretty much because that's just like kind of who I am. Like a lot of the things that they told you to do, I was pretty much doing on a daily basis. So that was like pretty cool. I revisited it all yesterday. I watched over what I'd filmed, see how I was at. And then I looked at the challenge online and I was like, okay, I've literally done all of these things over more than 21 days. And I realized the thing that I wanted to manifest happened. And I remember when I started the challenge, I didn't want to manifest just like one specific thing. It was kind of manifesting like a new lifestyle in a way, like not a new life, but just the things in my life. So the jobs I do, I'm not really the people I'm friends with because I don't want to change my friends, but just kind of attracting different people. Like more success and more confidence in my work and what I want to do. That is that I was like, okay, all of that has come true like all of it <laughs> it was a very like, shit i'm literally living the life that i wrote down two months ago so it's a very like surreal feeling and like to be honest it feels like everything just feels really clear and really like i'm just on a constant high but not like up in the clouds high i don't know if that makes sense it's a very clear bubble above myself oh my god that sounds crazy it's like seeing things so much more clearer i'm looking at situations better and i'm just kind of assessing everything interesting the book that i'm reading is this i've read it um i read like three quarters of it last year and i just stopped reading it's very good it's like not woo woo but it's not like too dun 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 in like what you need to do it's it's a good combo i would um i definitely recommend it to people who want to just do shit i've worked out exactly what it is i want i know i'm gonna watch this later i have wanted to do a lot of country i'm very keen to see where this year's gonna take me insanely good about it i'll see you guys on today oh